In 2011, a real beer revolution broke out in Poland, and a number of craft breweries were set up on the market, which started offering sorts of beers that had not been available in Poland until then. Pinter, the brewery which was founded by three enthusiasts of hop beverage, has been involved in the beer revolution since the very beginning. Grzegorz z Markiem organizowali imprezy piwowarskie. Grzegorz and Marek organized beer events. For years I honed my skills as a home brewer and together we visited Polish breweries and foreign festivals, events, while searching for new flavors and new experiences. Festiwale, imprezy w poszukiwaniu nowych smaków, nowych doświadczeń. This search resulted in the iconic sort of beer which was commercially brewed for the first time by Pinter Brewery, Atak Chmielo, from English Hops Attack. We were convinced that Polish beer lovers needed a sort of beer with a taste of hops. Hops not only included in the name or on the label. They needed this sort of beer that when you take a sip, you immediately feel that it is Hops Attack. And in 2011, when the first portion of Attack Himelo was placed on the market, indeed, it was shock and disbelief that beer can taste like that. And it tasted like that because we were pioneers in using a very large amount of American hops. To this day, it is the flagship product of the brewery, and we decided to check how Attack Himelo is produced. As far as beer is concerned, the most important aspect is the properly selected ingredients which are imported by the founders of Pinta Brewery from all over the world. Special malts used in Attack Himelo come from Germany. Carapils guarantees stronger foam and fuller flavor. Cara Red gives the orange red color. And Melanoidin malt gives the characteristic bread flavor. First of all, malt gristing. Grains must be crushed to get better and fuller access to the starch included inside. At the same time, the husk will be a natural substrate in the filtering process. Then the grist, together with water, are transferred to the mash kettle. The water temperature is 64 degrees C, and the process of mashing is accompanied by enzyme transformation from starch into sugar. This is how mash is created, which later enters the filter tank where the brewer's grains are separated. It will not be wasted, it will be used as animal feed. The clear liquid obtained as a result of filtration is pumped into the boiling kettle, where the second key ingredient, crucial especially for IPA beer, is added, i.e. hops. This ingredient is a symbol of the beer revolution. Atac Himelo uses crisp, citrus and resinous hops, with precisely defined aroma which come from the northwest coast of the United States. The ingredients are cooked in the boiling kettle. Boiling is aimed to achieve the extended beer extract and transforming bittering substances contained in hops. At the end of the boiling process, we add aromatic hops, so the aroma will be noticed in the finished product. Boiling process takes about 60 minutes and later the wort must be transferred to the Whirlpool Tun. However, at first, another portion of hops is added to the Whirlpool Tun. Hopping at this stage is characteristic for Attack Himelo. As in sorts of beer brewed on an industrial scale, hops are not added at this stage. During the process of whirlpooling, proteins and hops are separated. The clear wort obtained in this way is cooled to 16 degrees C with use of the heat exchanger and pumped to the fermentation lagering tanks, where yeast converts sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. That is how beer is naturally carbonated. When the fermentation process is over, which takes about seven days, the yeast falls to the bottom of conical tanks. The slurry is removed and pumped out of the tank. This is the beginning of the lagering phase. The temperature in the tank is 2, about 1 degrees C, and the lagering process lasts approximately 14 days. Then it is hopped for the third time by the brewer. This process is called dry hopping. At this stage, the beer gets its characteristic intense hop flavor and aroma. It's also time to check and verify the brewing effects.
naszym browarze sprawdzamy. In our brewery, we check and verify the quality of the wort and beer at many stages. Primarily, during everyday inspections, brewer is verifying beer parameters such as color, taste, aroma, as well as carbonation, which is of key importance. Once the aging process is over, the beer enters a centrifuge, where it's clarified. Hops and yeast deposits are removed. Then it's transferred to a flow pasteurizer, where the beer taste stabilizes and its fitness for human consumption is extended. Pasteurization takes place at a temperature of 70 degrees C, which slightly affects the taste and aroma. And now it's time for bottling. Beer is poured through a special spike that reaches almost to the bottom, and thus the beer does not foam in the bottle. Immediately afterwards, caps are put on. The bottled beverage is packed into cartons and can reach the market and arrive on store shelves. Over the eight years of business, Pinta Brewery has produced more than 200 different sorts of beer and in 2019 alone, 56 beer premieres were racked and bottled.